Why have you got your kid so close to a moose? Bro, that kid, I feel like that, that moose did not like that kid for some reason. or Because I think I'm it kicked it first. And yeah, that then was a racial attack. Did you see the way it took around? The kid waiting again. for them to relax again. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked it again. With a bunch of people around, they kicked the same kid. It was like, nah, nah, he, wait, he, get up. Are you ready uh, to present? Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Welcome back, peeps. All right. We're lead, we're ready. All right, we're ready. Wait, 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 we're lead. We're lead, can you get my water bottle, please? <laughs> Guys, I told you we have a production team here. That's it. But that's no, I think here. I think uh, I think he's hallucinating because I think he forgot that Waleed took the rest of the team and kind of left us. So I don't think he's, he's quite who's accepted. This guy it in yet. my house. <laughs> who's this guy in my house? Is the new hire? Oh, okay, cool. I thought yeah, that we was got Waleed. him just last week. John. Okay, okay, John. Oh, that's John. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, John's the new production team. Sorry, and I guys. think I think. Uh, Dwight is coming in like two weeks. Dwight's coming to your house. No, the new hire Dwight. The new hire. We Dwight. need. We needed to like bolster our team again. Oh yeah. Left. Okay. So cool. I think Dwight's coming in two weeks. I think. Because he, he that, needed John. to get some stuff sorted sorted out for like his old position before he yeah. can move to us. Uh, what was his old yeah. pos um, position? Was it programming? I think so. I yeah, think. It, I think it was actually like uh, an executive programmer. Like, yeah, because it's boring, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what honestly. that's what I heard. He wants yeah. to be a programmer over a YouTuber. Imagine that. <laughs> Sad people, want honestly. To Just Sad terrible. <laughs> Let's get into the video on that now. I mean, I'm ready whenever you are, really. All right, guys. Uh, are you not going to tell them what we're reacting to, big man? You're presenting, so this is your job I never now. do that. No, I never this do that. This is your job that's now. You. We'll go straight into the video then. All right, we reacted no, no, to no, how no, not to get no. unsubscribed by no, no. animals by Casual Geographics. Okay, well, I guess we didn't start it. So if you're a long time subscriber, there's a couple of videos that might have brought you here. One of them might be the very first video I ever made. It's still up today, but considering it was a TikTok compilation I slapped together and it was back when I used Apple headphones as a mic, the quality is trash in yeah, fact watching that video nearly up. made me cringe myself into a hernia and in all honesty if the views didn't go crazy i definitely would have vaulted it like nature did the dinosaurs or the bundy hornets whatever happened to them well with the recent upgrade in the production quality of my channel i figured why so not remake the video that probably got you here in the first place. Well. so here's how to survive a moose attack you don't actually have a choice in the matter. You see, the key word here is attack. The road to getting a moose aggravated often comes with a toll price of your life. And honestly, you're probably safer in front of a bear than a well, 10 I feel like it doesn't even take with a lot predators, to get you a moose. You can convince them that you're not worth the effort. But there is no negotiating with something that thinks you're I actively think I trying take to turn into calories. So the best way to not survive this moose attack is to not even let it get to So here are some signs that a moose is considering turning you. Think about it. I think. We're I'm not really doing right. this no, no, again. No. Like, I'm not humoring this anymore. No, okay, listen, to I, me. listen. You're Eat. not taking anything I'm above taking knee moves. height. You're oh not taking God. anything. You above don't know your what knee vehicle height, okay? I have. You don't know what vehicle I have. Even if you have a monster truck, you'll probably still be I'm maybe not losing, like 40 percent chance. No, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm like the top one percent of alpha males. I don't lose. Okay, Andrew Tate, can we move on with the video, no, please? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't lose. I don't lose, bro. I'm, I'm taking on a moose, 100%. Uh, of course. You from one of a kind to another in a pine. If a moose stops eating or drinking and suddenly stares at you, you got the moose's attention and it's in your life's interest to give it back. If a moose shows you the whites of his eyes, soon you'll be seeing the sight of God's skies. And if the ears are pinned back, his mind's on attack. And this goes for pretty much all animals. Once the ears go flat, then the next few seconds are going to be very crucial to continuing your way of life. And I don't entirely know why, why but if a moose so urinates funny. while looking at you, it's a sign of ill intent. I'm guessing it's like a territorial thing, but wherever you came from is where you need to be heading. He's like, and if a moose lowers you his got head to and you guys, like in the last to warning that the of the hospital face. bill. Of course, none of that really matters because a four-legged armor truck with the ability to make conscious choices could just Oh, oh my god, all right. Because there is no playbook in nature that the moose is gonna follow. At which point your options are limited, but you're gonna want to get into a car or a building. That's what I mean, bro. People are stupid. 
Why have you got your kid so close to a moose? Bro, that kid, I feel like that, that moose did not like that kid for some reason. Or, Cause I think I'm he kicked it first. And yeah, that then was a racial attack. Did you see the way it took the around? He kicked the kid waiting again. for them to the relax again. Kid. <laughs> and he kicked it again. <laughs> With a bunch of people around, he kicked the same kid. It was like, nah, like, nah, he, wait, he, get up. Cause he didn't, even, he didn't even like kick twice. He kicked him once, waited yeah, for waited. them to relax and spread out again so he could get a good line of sight. He was like, nah, nah, I want you. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl was just on the floor oh, crying to her mum. <laughs> Trying to get right, up. The very least put something between That's the you definition and the of when life hits, you don't get up. Mailbox or something. And if violence is inevitable, you're going to want to grow into a ball shit. protector by the organs and forgive those who may have wronged yeah, you in the past. Wrong. So the hate parties <laughs> will weigh you down. As you That's the relax. right move. But I most important, don't right. get up right, right, right after the moose right. stops trampling you because that could motivate the moose to star in the sequel of your assault. I'm telling Basically, you, the whole know. yourself look bigger thing. What yeah, is, yeah, do the exact opposite. Don't stand your ground because at the moment it's not yours. Go back. You're dealing with the Lord of the North and nothing short of a magazine with no words. No, no, Stop oh, you can expect more than 10% yeah, yeah, off when the moose is involved, especially when it's which one? The, Sorry, the one where it was issues, you know, we're poor, <laughs> just poor people out here. That, that Look, one, this one is that I like a stretched out picture, or is that like the size of it? Because it looks way too buffed up to be, to be like a, on steroids. If it's real. facts, like it what have you been be. lifting? That's intimidating. Break it out. What are you doing if that comes at you? Nothing. I'm the same thing that guy on the bike did, bro. I'm just dropping. Just no, giving. That... I'm not even gonna try to run because you can't escape that. Just I'm drop. Gonna, like that guy on the bike had me dead. He just like, calmly just fell over. Like you he get just... your string cut or something. Just drop like a ragdoll and just hold for the best. Honestly, I'm actually dead. Do the whole make yourself look bigger thing. Yeah, yeah. Do the exact opposite with a moose. Don't stand your ground because at the moment it's not yours. You're dealing with the Lord of the North, and nothing short of a magazine with no words yeah, or free will is stopping him. You yeah. can expect more than ten percent off when a moose is involved, especially when it's a mother with a calf or a male in ruts. Oh, and for those you. of you that already know what rutting is, I'm 90% sure I know how you know, and I'm 90% disappointed in you. That's However, the moose usually isn't though. trying to hurt you, so the less of a threat you are, the less danger you're in. Can't really say that for these guys, though. Here's how to survive a chimp yeah, attack. They, yeah, funny they, thing about that, either you don't you or you wish you didn't. Look, if you already follow me, then Sometimes you already they know don't what chimps are what they're capable People think they're cute because they look like humans when they're cute. These things, they act like them, too. Now, so wait, are you telling me I can't take a chimp? You can't take a chimp, dude. Bro. Why He's don't not... you believe honestly, in me? Honestly, no, no, no. no. Look, 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 Mm -hmm. I believe you more when you said you had more chance of taking a moose than a chimp. If you say you have more chance you of taking a moose, I can take a moose believe, instead of a chimp. I would believe you more if you say you have more chance of taking a moose. Okay, and honestly, you're not taking it. A chimp, you wouldn't. Nah, don't make the, me the say best, your real the name, bro. The best you're gonna get out. Say, dude, you're gonna... The best <laughs> you're gonna get out of that combat is in a is the wheelchair. Dude, if, if you I'm... survive, the best you're gonna get out of that is a wheelchair. Bro, because we should chimps pole, bro. Nah, are devious. Bro, chimps that. are devious. Nah, I don't. Care I don't know what you are. Because if I, even if you chose to ch to um to take on a chimp, I'm not gonna be in attendance. Because I know I, right after it's done with you, it's probably gonna turn around to the audiences, and I don't nah, want to be bro, there. So. That's crazy. Have I'm not there. The Kanye Kobe I ain't even ad. gonna be there for moral support. Is Have what you I'm seen saying. The Kanye ad. I am the same beast. <laughs> The same animal, different beast, bro. Of course. Mm. Actually, I actually have a list on I'm how to survive a chimp too. attack, but if you're in a position where you can get touched up by one, then you've already ignored steps one through five. Step six is to lease a coffin. But let's say you effed around and See? now you're trying not to find bro, that. Small, Don't smile bro. or show teeth bro, since it can be interpreted as a sign muscle. of aggression. It's their version of flashing your piece. Eye contact with a chimp is a good way to make contact with your ancestors. I don't think that's this small. can be directly seen as Hold a on. challenge. However, if a chimp is already coming at you with violence, then it might be time to pick a color for your casket. There is one weakness chimps have that might just save you. Because chimpanzees are built like Michelangelo statues, their relatively low body fat and top-heavy body composition means chimps can't really swim. So if you happen to be near a body of water, diving into the deep end where a chimp can't follow you might be the only thing that saves you. Now here's a video of a chimp doing exactly what I just said they couldn't. So I guess the real advice here is be an organ donor. Because at least whatever they find left of you can go on to benefit someone else. Because it's yes, not like yeah, you're going to do Now let's Chimps talk about basically bears. You've probably heard the popular rhyme for bear safety. The five that's five. if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, get on wait, the ground. Wait, and if wait, it's white like uh, a cloud, uh, you're going to die. I'm not going to let that slide. Did you just say I'm 5'5"? Five <laughs> five? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't say you. I, I, said I just slipped that in there. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're eye level to you, bro. You're 5'5". Five five. Like, no, I said they're 5'5". Five five is what I said. 
I'm just saying. Wait a correction. minute. Correction. The, I just hear some I shade <laughs> of disrespect coming into the room. John, can I you said, believe that? Some disrespect. <laughs> can we get someone on the production team to sort I this guy out? They're five five, chimps are five five, and they're like forty to sixty kg. Dude. Of all muscle, pretty oh much. My God, bro. So good luck with that. Shut up. <laughs> But there are some misconceptions with this, and some of those misconceptions could get you put on a shirt. So we're going to talk about it bear by bear. With black bears, you're going to want to fight back. But that doesn't mean just start throwing hands at the bear, because a bear of any kind is folding any man like Sunday laundry. But what you want to do is make yourself look like a threat. Stand up tall, talk loud and firmly, and if you have a bag or a jacket or something, raise it over your head to make yourself look bigger. Black bears seem to constantly forget who they are and instead choose to identify as overweight raccoons, so they can be intimidating. Now with brown bears, you're going to want to get on the ground, but not for the reason some people might tell you. Some people say to play dead, since bears don't like to eat prey that's already past tense. Bears will eat literally anything, including other baby bears, so they're not about to miss out on free protein just because the expiration date might be off. But also, bears aren't stupid. You see, playing possum works for possums because they're not playing. They actually pass out and go into a panic coma where no amount of pushing or prodding wakes them up. Also, they'll drool and release a foul smell to really sell the bit. So unless you plan on committing to the role that hard, it's not going to help you. Why you actually get on the ground is to look as unintimidating and non-threatening as possible. So basically, none of the things you do with a black bear. You're going to want to lay down, clasp your hands around oh your neck, and then spread God. your legs to make it harder yeah. to flip you over. That's but the crazy. most important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, do not run. A bear can keep pace with a horse over a short distance, so all running wow. does is guarantee you get made into a memory suit. Rapid. Especially since bears are the largest terrestrial predators on the planet while also having the endurance of a CrossFit junkie. And sometimes the bear will test your instincts by charging. Most charges, however, are bluffs, and the worst thing you can do for your health is due to a race with a homicide case with paws. Also, whoever said bears can't run downhill was actively trying to sell the human race. Yes, they can, and thinking they can't will be your downfall. But the best way to survive a bear attack is to avoid one in the first place. So if you're ever hiking in bear country, you're actually going to want to make noise, which sounds counterintuitive, but making a lot of noise actually tells the bear where you are and allows it to avoid conflict in the first place. Also, since bears have a hypersensitive nose and sense of smell, carrying bear spray can be the difference between going home in peace and resting there in pieces. Bear spray mm. is said to save people from serious injury in bear encounters 98% of the time. God bless you if you're in that 2%. There is a catch, though. Everything I just said applies to territorial encounters with bears. If a bear comes at you on predatory timing, then my only advice is to make peace with the higher being of your choosing. You predatory bear attacks on this. humans are rare, but when they yeah. do happen, someone gets put on the news. I and feel that's like why the bear in your presence is a pole. If I did get attacked by a bear, all of this that I'm hearing right now would just go completely out. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. As no. soon as I see a bear, because oh. I've never seen a bear, as soon as I see one in real life, everything just going to go out the window because I'm just like, okay, wait. He said, he said black bear. Um, yeah, wait, yeah, what? No, bro, wait, wait, no wait, one I'm, remembers I, anything. I'll bro. be dead by nope. the time I remember. No one remembers. <clears throat> I'm telling you right now. He said, don't run. I'm running. That's, that's that, all I, I think. Like, by the time we realize, like, oh, don't run. You, you already yes, started I'm running. Already started oh, running. I'm already in my stride. I'm already <laughs> like, in, oh, frig, I'm in my stride. And I'm outrunning a bear 100%. Hold a bear, then it's up. And by it, I mean your time on Earth. Polar bears yeah, polar are hyper bears carnivores, so while other yeah, bears are omnivorous, yeah. polar bears are all meat all the time. Honestly, and since polar bears I don't know can spill their next meal from every little wave, by the time you see him, bear. just know he's been plotting on you. There is one tip that says polar bears have ADHD, you have to go. and undressing and tossing articles of clothing will distract Somewhere him long enough for you to escape. Yeah, that's Unless what I'm saying. I don't know what has to go wrong in my house. life. All you've done is guarantee that you be, now die naked. Yeah, I would come and face if the bear somehow doesn't get you, whoever finds your body gets to see exactly how your life ended. I don't even like the I work out so that if I ever place. suffer an untimely death, then I can leave behind right. a respectable corpse. But considering this is probably happening in the ice chilled Arctic, they probably just assume I was compensating for something. If you know, you know. The guy sure do. But yeah, if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, you better hug the ground. And if it's white like nose powder, then it's gonna be your final hour. And speaking of final hour, here's how to survive a hippo attack. No. You're yeah, not going to. No. And if you're disappointed this, this, by that, then that's a yeah. failure. If of your you say otherwise, that's a Considering lie. Considering we're like halfway through the video, if you click genuinely looking for hippo advice, and I'm yeah, assuming you're watching say, this from, from this point on, I don't think hippos you are the heaviest things on four legs without a trunk or a horn. They divide crocodiles without a calculator and subtract an estimated 500 people from the population a year. And if we're being honest, they it's probably high. Intense. Show me someone who survived the hippo attack and I'll show you someone you should get lottery numbers from. <laughs> so my only advice to surviving this whale Karen throwing a fit is to uninstall yourself so he doesn't get crazy. Oh, idiot. Unless you're He's exercising the right idiot. to bear absolute heat. In which case, I hope he likes seafood because he's finna eat some shells. Then again, since hippos are as close as you can get to being bulletproof, oh self-deletion might be the easiest way out. I was Honestly, say, in this wait, entire video, the cougar might be the most survivable out of any animal wait, here. Hippos are bulletproof basically no because think about it they're based they're like like all all their outer layer are muscle and fat 
So the, before the dumb. bullets even reach their organs, it's this gonna get lodged. So I, you dumb. would have to. I think you would have to pump like you know what's that? Um, what's that one called? You know the. Um, no, the one where it's like uh, you get like literally like rows of of um, bullets, and it's like basically just like a semi machine. Like, machine gun. Yeah, the the mountable one. Oh. I think you would need something like that to even stand the chance Dude, against the hippos. That's just that's just crazy. Because like a what? handgun or an AK, I don't think is gonna do Why much. Are these freaking. It's probably just like, gonna annoy it, so if OP. anything. That's why so these like, animals, bro. Where was our powers, bro? Please yeah, give, give just give something. me something, bro. Like, what's what am I gonna do for brain? Give me like Wolverine claws or something, please. The humans don't even <laughs> use their brain properly, man. We're all dumb, anyways. Like, us, I think out. what you think humans should have the option to either like choose knowledge or, yeah, or yeah. Really... <laughs> some of us are given the power of knowledge. Like, hey, know, listen, I, I don't really, freaking... I don't really want to be this smart. I just want like yeah. Wolverine claws or. In Some of us can't even something. solve puzzles, puzzles that <laughs> other animals can solve. We're idiots, honestly. Not yeah. using our brain properly. It's just sad. Yeah, because, like, think about it. Like, we're supposed to be the smart one, and somehow we still approach something like a hippo and slap it in the face <laughs> for no reason. Idiots. Unprovoked. The rules for surviving a cougar are pretty simple. Try to travel in groups, avoid being out at dawn or dusk, <laughs> and if one tries to offer you a drink, just remember that. Now, when yeah. surviving the actual cats, the rules are a little different. You see, cougars are actually naturally wary of people and are perfectly happy avoiding humans. So if a puma ever presses you like in this oh. video, it's likely you accidentally stumbled into some cubs and now you gotta see the mama about it. Back away slowly. All running does is tell the cougar that you're something worth chasing. Well. Also, with ambush hunters, the worst thing you can do when a yeah. cat confronts you is turn your back to it, because that makes it more likely to pounce. You're going to want to stand up tall and back away slowly while speaking I mean, in a the loud question is, voice. Are you even gonna it doesn't it matter coming. what you say. You can recite the entire script for the B movie, as long as it's loud enough for the cougar to hear you. Oh, yeah, this guy. I've seen this clip. Dude, I'm trying to attack you. Your eyes are looking away from you. Dude, what do you want me to do? Come on. Come on. And you know, you know the one thing as well is the one thing that would be going through my mind is However, don't trip. Crouch down to pick something if you trip, up or take your eyes off the cougar, then you've broken two rules. Don't say that because if no, you're thinking honestly, don't trip, you're gonna trip. You tripping is gonna be like breaking line of sight. So you're basically and you're gonna be in a vulnerable position. So yeah, if you you're, trip, done. you're done. You're done. You trip, you're done. You're done. You're done. But you have would... no choice but to backpedal because you can't look away as well. Yeah, so don't think like... don't trip though. Just backpedal <laughs> with wide strides and just... i wouldn't be able to help it just be like just don't no, do 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 <laughs> and boom you fall over idiot <laughs> in one move just keep moonwalking and understand if the cougar wanted you off the census you'd already be trending on twitter this advice pretty much applies for big cats too however if you find yourself staring down a line first Shit, of all it probably took a lot of bad life decisions to end up there and it's right? likely your fault but pay attention to its tail. If it's swaying from side to side, that means the lion feels threatened, which is good because that means it can still be negotiated with. But if the tail's rigid and not moving at all, then it's likely a predatory encounter, in which case the only thing up for negotiation will be the cost of your casket. In tiger country, like, it's often advised to wear a backpack I know what you're about to, do, to convince but, the ambushing oh. big cat that it's already lost the element of surprise. But with tiger attacks on the rise, it's likely the striped demons are calling the bluff. Bluffing's probably your only option against a kangaroo. Like with the moose oh and the brown bear, your goal is to convince the steroid rabbit God. that you're as little of a threat as possible. That. And you do that by avoiding eye contact and not facing the macropod directly. And if a kangaroo starts putting the paws on you, you're going to want to curl into a ball, take the hits, and pray. Because if the kangaroo hauls off and kicks you, you're probably not getting back up. But if you want a kangaroo cheat code, lower either. your head, okay, keep no. your hands close to your body, and cough. A deep cough is similar to the sound weaker males make to submit to a bigger, stronger alpha root. It's basically giving the kangaroo the right of way. As you can see, this woman hey, fails to cough and now she's coughing with red kid. kangaroos. So I guess with kangaroos, you have two choices. I see. You can either have a coughing fit or... Sorry, guys. Internet, you know. But if you guys subscribe, we can... <laughs> now she's coughing up with kid. <laughs> you can get better. So I guess internet. with kangaroos, you have two choices. No, you still haven't gone back enough. All right, mother. A bit more. A bit more. Right, mother. Yeah. Submit a to a more. bigger, stronger alpha root. There. It doesn't work with red kangaroos as they don't cough to show. How are you oh, supposed yeah, to tell the difference? Yeah, no, it's basically giving sense. the kangaroo the right way. As you can see, this woman failed to cough and now she's coughing up a kidney. So I guess with kangaroos, you yeah. have two choices. You can either have a coughing fit or be fit in a coffin. But you don't have options <laughs> when you're dealing with the most dangerous like animal that. humanity's ever seen. And that's because it's humanity itself. 
So if you ever Ooh. happen to wake up and find that you're a wild animal, here's how to yes. survive a human attack. That First is to understand that you are likely screwed, and any outcome that doesn't end in one less of you likely will end in something worse. And the sooner you can accept that, the sooner you can be at peace. Now, humans may look like the light work of the great ape group, being significantly weaker than orangutans, gorillas, and chimps. But they make up for it. The same way that bullied kid makes up for years of torment with a suspiciously shaped duffel bag and the intent of lighting up the school like a Christmas tree. You can try to run, but the homo sapien race used to literally chase their prey into heat strokes, since they're able to sweat and cool down while actively running you into the ground. Of course, that's when they hunted with spears. Now they use their father's boomstick to blow you off the senses, while still being too far for you to add any input to the matter. Make no mistake, without claws, venom, or a strong bite force, an unarmed human might seem like an easy W. Until you realize that Which humans work as a massive be. monkey mafia. The first one, because one you know what the funny thing is, your entire family. Right. And honestly, the nicest yeah. thing go on, do. So the other like the, was, for animals, the first one is always an easy kill because we're we're gonna be unexpected and it's unarmed. Yeah. But once humans is like, oh, something dangerous out here. Everyone's coming out with weapons, and yeah, the animal's yeah, probably yeah. dead. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like we're only dead, afraid yo. because we don't want to be the first. First one. No one wants to be the number one. No one wants to be no the one. one wants on the to news. be the first. No one wants to be the one on the news saying. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. So we're gonna go avenge him. No one wants Everyone to be wants the, to be the avenge him. No one wants to be avenged. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> being captured and taken as a spectacle in their society where they will imprison you break you down and punish you for being yourself just like high school <laughs> but the worst part of it all when the deuces hit the fan and someone gets put on a shirt they'll blame you for being what you've always been they'll yeah, slaughter hundreds of millions of your kind and then gaslight you to convince themselves that you're the problem all while actively destroying hey, the natural order that existed like billions of years yeah. before them because humans aren't god but they sure love to play it so the only way to survive Ooh, a human attack is to readjust your goals and just enjoy the show before a hairless oppression monkey with a superiority complex comes by and cancels it. But that's going to do it for this video. You know, so new, I like content, to think like to an animal Instagram was watching this and this is what they took away from it. If you haven't already, okay, cool. be sure I to check out my new book on 100 deadly animals. Because <laughs> these, these humans keep getting in my way. Keep getting in my way. Because what, what I was also thinking about is like, if you think about it from an animal's perspective, there's like if for hum in terms of humans there's not much they can do because even if they play dead and stuff the human probably still attack them they, 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 they can't just not defend themselves because yeah no i guess it's what really all about how they're feeling and which type of human they come across yeah like if they poachers come across me, they're killing long day. anything in sight if they come across me long day in it yeah of course yeah i just let me stretch <sighs> Honestly, oh. I feel like one of these days I need to. I'm gonna end up setting up a challenge where you fight an animal. I oh, can't. I can't wait for the day. I'm ready. I cannot wait for the day. I'm winning. Freaking wow. choosing a silverback as well. <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for checking in. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. We nonsense appreciate you guys choosing. watching till the end. For those of you who did, if you're still here. If you're still here. We appreciate you. If you left early, we still appreciate you. Thank you for checking like, in. And subscribe. All that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one in a bit. Peace.